Hi guys, it's Adam Pierce here from Blend Commerce. Happy New Year to you all, hope you're doing well. Um, just wanted to really kind of share this video with you because um, it's something that I've been looking at for quite a while now. Um, and the topic really today is around apps. And I'm pretty sure that many of you have perhaps thought about creating an app for your brand uh, or kind of wondered, is an app actually the way to go uh, to sort of push your e-commerce brand that a little bit further? And I think a lot of the time when it comes to apps, um, we we often do get put off by the cost. Obviously, they can be quite prohibitively expensive, uh, which you know can be really kind of a non-starter. Uh, but a few months ago now, uh, I connected with um, a company called Beza, who are actually on um, a UK TV program called Dragon's Den. I know some of you in Canada have Dragon's Den. Obviously, there is Sharks Shark Tank uh, in the states as well. Um, and on there, there were two great guys who got investment for their progressive web app platform, which is called Beza. Fast forward to today, um, we're really pleased to hear that Beza now um, have actually got an integration with Shopify, uh, which means that we can all actually use Beza and have uh, people shopping on our stores within the actual app. Now, what I'm going to do today is take you through Beza, show you a little bit around about how it works. Uh, this is kind of, you know, my, my first real kind of time playing around with it. But as it's so simple, um, then actually it should be pretty straightforward to show you exactly how this all works. What I'll also do is want to show you how to integrate your Shopify store with it. And really kind of, you know, within a matter of sort of 30 minutes, you could be up and running with your app. Um, that can also then be shared to all of your um, potential customers or current customers. Now, one of the real big things I should mention here is that the great thing about Beza is that because we're talking about progressive web apps, it doesn't actually mean that you need to have your app listed on um, iTunes or have it on the Google Play Store. You can actually just send a link, uh, whether it be via Facebook, via email, whatever it might be, you can click on that button to download and that app will then be on the device. So it really removes a lot of that block um, that you can sometimes have when it comes to using those um, more well-known platforms um, because it means that you can actually just literally create the app, get it out there and get your customers using it. Now, before I go into it, I suppose a lot of you might also be wondering, well, look, what are the benefits of having that? And one of the massive benefits of Beza is that it enables you to have push notifications. So what this means is that if you do have specific offers, um, new things are coming onto your store, you can contact obviously all of the people that have your app and give them then specific information direct to their phone. And I'm sure you know that when we look at our phones every day, one of the core things that we look at and we respond to tends to be those notifications that are popping up on your iPhone or popping up on your Android device. So it really does, I think, give an opportunity for us all as Shopify users to have something that's a little bit special. Now, what I'm gonna do first of all is, you will see in the screen here that I've got the uh, Beza um, screen up, and what you can do is simply go and create a free account, which is what I've done here, and then I can choose one of these different skins. So there's kind of four different standard skins, not to read too much about these, because you can edit a lot of the, the stuff that's in there already. So what I'm gonna do is pick the ice one here. Now, once I've done that, I'm then gonna create the app. So I'm gonna call this Blend Commerce, and I'll we'll just call it Blend Commerce at Beza. Okay. I'm gonna create the app, perfect. So once I've done that, what we'll then be able to see is that we're then gonna go into our, um, basically, area for build. And it is very much is, uh, I guess, sort of similar to sort of drag and drop functionality that you would see in a lot of other places. Now, just in terms of the basics here, what you can see in the screen, I've got the build screen up and I can then go into the pages and you'll see I've got some standard pages, so tab, schedule, and form. Uh, I might also, for example, here, want to add in, for example, a new standard page. So I want to click on next. I'm going to call this shop because obviously we're going to have a want, want to have our shop for actual five stores on there and that is an added and then in terms of the positioning of this what i can then do is just actually drag this around again drag and drop and put that exactly where i want it to be now in terms of obviously the the look and the feel of the app itself again fairly self-explanatory but we go into the design and again we can change the primary design colors that we got here so let's change this nice sort of blend purple 
Uh, we can then obviously change it to colors too, and so on and so forth. So those will then reflect in the app itself on the screen. Now, one of the, I guess, sort of more interesting things for us when it comes specifically to Shopify is that actually this thing about having Shopify, Shopify store within the app itself. And what I'm going to do now is actually show you exactly how to do that um, using your Shopify admin. So I'm just going to log into Shopify admin. And what you'll see here that I've gone into apps. Now, what I need to do is come down here to this area which has manage private apps. And if I click on that, what's gonna happen is you're gonna see I've already actually created a, a private app here, but I'm gonna create a new one. And what I'm gonna do is call this Visa Blend. Put my email address in here and then once I've done that I'm going to tick allow this app to access your storefront data using the storefront API and once you do that you'll see that these other then pop-up options appear so then what this is doing is essentially allowing you to um, access your Shopify store through the Beezer app itself all we have to do is just check these boxes here and once we're done we click save Click I understand, create the app. And then when we're done, what you'll notice is that down here, we have this store for an access token. And really simply, all we need to do is just copy this. We go back over to Beza. We're then going to go to the pages that we want it to be on, which is shop. And I'm going to click on this little hamburger item. So, whoops, if I click on Add Component, see, told you I was new to this. We then go to e-commerce, we click on Shopify, add Shopify component, and then we just follow the on-screen information. So what I'm gonna do is put the blend commerce URL in, and then I then put that key in. And now what you can see is, that all of the products that are currently listed on our Shopify store are then gonna be accessible through that page. I can then click into it, we can add to cart, and of course, we can then go in and we can go and check out too. So in reality, what this means is that you can have your customers having uh, essentially sort of an offline version of your store on their phone, um, but equally, it just means that you can put a lot more content into the app in addition to what's on your site, which then will give impetus to your customers to actually use and download the app. So from a marketing point of view, you know, some of the ideas we've been thinking about is obviously having specific deals for people with the app that are, that are given out via the push notifications. So again, that will allow you to, I guess, track actually the efficacy of using an app like this, using the Beezer platform to give you that extra, I guess, sort of sales platform that you might want. Um, and simply, you know, when it means that you have this, particularly if you are a, a business that has a lot of documentation or information that can help customers, you could actually have this as an extra resource. So whether it be help guides, um, whether it be information, whether it be manuals, if you have something that's more technical, again, this could be a really nice addition to your marketing suite to give you something that a little bit extra above and beyond what your clients are, or your or your competitors are currently doing. Now, the one final thing I do want to show you before I go is that I just want to go back to um, the engage area here. And what you can see is that at the moment, it's saying that push notifications are unavailable because we need to build that into the actual area of our store. So to do that, what I would recommend is that if you go to pages, we click on shop. And again, what we'll do here is we'll add a component. Now, what I wanna do here is allow ourselves to add a notification component on this particular page. Now, what this now means is that I can actually send specific notifications via the app 
to give information about this particular page. Now, if I now go back to the engage area, what I can do is go to push notifications and you can see here, we've got unlimited push notifications. We can put all the information that we want to send out to the, to the, to the recipients, the users, the message, and then also any links that we want to include as well. So in reality, you know, look, this is pretty simple. Again, the few minutes that we've been obviously watching this video, we've been able to set up the majority of using the app. The design aspects of it, I would recommend simply opening it with Shopify Admin, taking your, I guess, brand guidelines, your hexes and your design features, plugging those into Beezer, and away you go. So I hope that's been a useful video for you guys, something new for 2019. Um, I know that uh, Bees will, will be very happy to help with any questions that you have. I, too, uh, will be happy to answer questions you have as well. There should be a link as well just below this video so you can sign up to Bees as well. Um, and I will hopefully be doing some more videos and some more advanced uses and giving you some more, I guess, sort of core marketing ideas using the app very soon. Cheers, guys. Thanks.